Oh, there you are, YouTube. There's that camera shadow. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to fix that. Anyway, we're gonna do a random ranking today, and if you've never seen one of those, basically what that is, is I go to my movie collection behind me and I pick out three movies at random with my eyes closed. I then proceed to rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite. So let's pick some movies. My eyes probably won't be closed because I'm gonna be focused on the camera, so I really don't need to close them because I'm not paying any attention to what I'm grabbing. So let's pick something from over on this side because I used to neglect this area and I don't wanna do that anymore. And I'm gonna try and make this like a one take also, hopefully. Right there, maybe, uh, I don't wanna pick anything from up there just in case it falls. Maybe over here, still not looking, okay three movies all right okay i can do i want to do that one yeah okay okay yeah i'll go ahead sometimes when it's a movie that i've only seen once i'm like ah should i do that just because usually it ends up at the end because and if i you know don't have like strong nostalgic ties i'm like you know it, it, it's just a lot of times it ends up as number three for that reason, you know, because a lot of times nostalgia plays a big role in the way in which I rank these movies, which could be what happens today. We will see. Here are the movies. Revolutionary Road, Chronicle, and Dear God, starring Greg Kinnear. All right. So question is, now this is going to be kind of a a quickish one, maybe around five minutes or so, I think. All right, what do I want to start with? Chronicle, it is a uh, like superhero movie. It's like, but you know, sort of set in a more reality typed world. And it's like these kids get these superpowers and um, you know, utilize them and villains are created. And it's just, you know, um, Kind of like a, oh, like like if superheroes just all of a sudden existed here, like a select few people, um, which I thought was really cool about it. But this is the movie that I've only seen once, which also means I'm not that familiar with it, especially when compared to these two. Revolutionary Road. Uh, we have Leo and Kate Winslet returning to the screen together since Titanic. I believe this is the first time since Titanic. Is it the only time since Titanic? I feel like it is. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, off the top of my head, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure it's just Titanic in this. And this one's kind of a downer. So a lot of times, you know, a downer may end up in the third spot as well. Because it's like, whoa, that is sad and who wants to watch that? You know, it's like, it's a good movie, but who wants to watch it? Because sometimes rewatchability plays a factor. And a movie like this because of its depressing nature, isn't necessarily one that you're like, let's pop that in the player. So who knows, maybe this one will be third. And then you have Dear God right here. Basically it's about a bunch of mailmen, post people, I don't know, what do you call post office people? Um, is it written here somewhere? I don't know. Um, and they are getting these letters to God, right? People are writing them the same way, you know, kids will write letters to, to uh, Santa and then they'll send them in the mail and then I don't know what the mail does with it. Maybe they just chuck them, but that's sort of what's happening here. People are writing letters to God and they just put them in this giant bin and then if I remember correctly, his character is like, what if we open some of those? And they're like, oh, I don't know if we're really supposed to. So they start opening them and then they try to sort of answer these prayers that people are writing to God in, you know, male form. And it's kind of sweet, kind of sweet movie. And um, it's, I mean, I, I, this is the one that I'm most nostalgic for because this was on, I think, Cinemax a lot when I was a kid. It was HBO, pretty sure it was Cinemax. And I was just watching it quite a bit. There's that shadow. How can I fix that? Maybe if I put a new angle here and maybe we'll do a close up like that. Is that helping? I don't know. But this is probably the one I'm most nostalgic for 
because I watched it so much on a movie channel. I believe it was Cinemax when I was growing up. And it was just kind of a, a nice general movie, you know? You know, it wasn't big, it wasn't indie, it was just a mid-level film production, you know? Just, I don't know what the budget was, probably like 30 million, something like that. 8 million, I don't know, that's probably too low, but I don't, I don't know what the, the budget was. Probably, probably less than 30 million. I don't know, 15, 8, who knows? What I'm saying is, it's just this nice, general movie that has no bells or whistles or anything like that. Survives on its characters, survives on its story, and all of that. I don't really know how this movie even did. Uh, critically. I know I'm not seeing anything written on the DVD case, so probably not too well if they couldn't come up with one blurb to put on the box. But I think what I'm going to do here, oops, you know, I'm s sad to say I don't want this to turn into the, the movie I've seen the most show, which is sort of what this one's going to be, but I, I'm going to put, okay, so for you, you're yeah, you're looking at it this way. So for me, I think what I'm going to do is Dear God, then Revolutionary Road because of the wonderful performances in this film, including uh, Michael Shannon, who was nominated for an Oscar. So definitely check out this movie. It is very sad, but it is also very good. And yeah, so Dear God, Revolutionary Road, and Chronicle, and I, I, you know, have to call myself out here. It's because I've only seen this movie once. I haven't even, like, I rented it when it came out, uh, but I have not even watched my copy of it. You know, I got this, like, a Black Friday for, like, a buck. So I need to watch my copy so that if this ever pops up again in another random ranking, I am more familiar with it, and I'm not having to give that whole talk of, well, I've only seen it once, so, you know... It doesn't mean a lot to me so much. So, yeah, I need to watch it again. But again, one last time. The order goes as follows. Dear God, Revolutionary Road, and then Chronicle. Thank you so much for watching this random ranking. Actually, I'm not done yet. Have you seen these movies? Have you seen any of them? And if you have, what do you think of them? I'm curious to know. And if you've seen all three of them, how would you rank them? I'd love to know that as well. So thank you so much for watching this random ranking, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.